Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Fedora 35 Workstation Beta. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. And if you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description down below. Fedora 35 Workstation comes with GNOME 41. So we're going to be taking a look at that today. I am presently on their website, and I'm going to go ahead and maximize that. And it just says, Welcome to Freedom. Fedora creates an innovative, free, and open-source platform for hardware, clouds, and containers that enables software developers and community members to build tailored solutions for their users. And then it goes over some basic Fedora Core OS, Fedora Silver Blue, and then, of course, Fedora Magazine and some more information on their website. You can look up additions. You can look up help, and you can look at the wiki. And it says Fedora 35 beta released. Find it on the download pages linked below. And that's what I've done. I've downloaded it. I've thrown it into a virtual machine, and we're going to take a look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Let's go ahead and click on activities. And this is the new GNOME 41 desktop environment. You get your dock right here that's got your Firefox, your calendar, rhythm box, photos, file system, and install to hard drive, and then you can look at all of your applications right there. And you've got contacts and weather and clocks, maps, connections is installed. And if you look right here, this is a new way to learn about connections. Use other desktops remotely. Use connections to view screen of other desktops. You can control them using the pointer and keyboard too. Let's go over here, connect to different operating systems. You can access Linux, Mac, Windows desktops. And you can enable remote desktops before connecting. Computers need to be set up for remote desktop before you can connect to them. And click over there. We hope that you enjoy the connections. Close. Now, what I did is I set this up last night on an older HP laptop that I have and actually connected to my Manjaro machine and was able to use my Manjaro machine right from that old desktop. I had to make a few adjustments on the firewall the way I had it set up so that the machine could access it. But if you don't have a bunch of firewall settings like I do, shouldn't be an issue from you. So if you do download this, throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual machine, check out connections. It is really impressive. So I'm gonna close back out of that. Let's go back over here. You've got maps, videos, calculator, disk usage, terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and check and see if they have HTOP installed. And they do not. Let's see if they have top and they do. Let's double click. And those of you who don't know, if you're using a GNOME environment and you're downloading tweaks just so you can get your minimize and maximize buttons over here, you don't need to do that. Just double click on the title bar. It gets big. Double click and it gets smaller. It's actually a little bit quicker when you're doing workflow. Now I have three gigabytes of memory issued to this machine along with four CPUs. At rest, it's using about 668 megabytes of the three gigs I have issued. So that's pretty lightweight, especially for GNOME. But with Fedora, that's expected because they do a lot of work in the kernel to make it run better on laptops especially. So I'm going to close back out of that. Let's go back up. And then we have boxes. I use VirtualBox quite a bit, but the more I see of boxes, I think it's about time for me to switch. What's really great about this is this is where you're going to be running virtual. And it's really easy. You just come up here and click Add. Now, the beauty of this is the detected source is because I'm in a virtual machine, it doesn't detect it, but you do have a way to download the distributions directly in boxes, which is so awesome. If you look right here, you've got your feature download, which is Red Hat Enterprise or Fedora 34 Workstation or Fedora Silverblue. Let's scroll down here and then you can select an OS source. Let's say you want to look at some different operating systems that you might be able to download. Just click, look at that. You've got Ubuntu, you've got OpenSUSE, Debian, Endless OS, GNOME, there's Manjaro, XFCE, Manjaro GNOME, NixOS, OpenSUSE, Endless, CentOS, Debian, NetBSD, Ubuntu, Slackware, CentOS. You've got so many different things in here you can download directly inside of boxes. So if you're a distro hopper and you want to look at a bunch of different operating systems, you can generally find it in here. And if you can't find it in here, you just click this. It says operating system image file. You click on that. 
Go find the system file, click on it, it opens it up, and it's right here in boxes. Now, what is great about this, I'm running in a virtual machine right now in a live mode, so I can't show this to you, but I will do a future video because I plan on installing this on that old HP laptop and then doing a video specifically on boxes because of how impressive it is. When you're using like virtual box, you have to go in, you have to set up the displays, you have to fine tune everything. On here, all you have to do is basically set your RAM. You can adjust CPUs if you want to, but other than that, you set those two things, click on the operating system, it automatically scales it, automatically sets the resolution. It makes things a lot easier. And the more I see a boxes, I think I'm getting ready to start using it in my videos as opposed to VirtualBox because I think it's going to run a lot smoother. It does have boxes installed, so I'm going to cancel out of that. And if you are a distro hopper, I suggest you give boxes a shot. So let's go back over to applications. You've got settings, disks, document scanner, and that should be genome disks. And it is. I do love the look. Gnome is starting to grow on me a little bit. I've been in KDE for such a long time, but every time a new distribution comes out with an updated version of GNOME, it's really, really looks good. So let's close out of that and go back over here. Settings, let's look at settings. There's your Bluetooth, backgrounds. That's the background that comes with out of the box. Let's say we wanted to go with something different like, let's just pick the Fedora. Look at that. That looks pretty good. I'll leave that up. Or you can go with something like that. That's a pretty background. Then you've got notifications, search, multitask, applications, privacy, online, date and time, and about. So let's close out of that. Let's go back down here. And then you got your text editor, help, cheese, fonts, image viewer, LibreOffice, Calc, Impress, Writer, Problem Report, Software Center. Let's look at their software center. Welcome to software. So let's browse software. Enable third party software repositories. Provides access to additional software from selected external sources. Some proprietary software is included. Well, if it is proprietary, if it is included, I don't have to download it, but it's there, so I'm not going to worry about that. Looks like you've got some base categories here. Create, socialize, work, learn, develop, play. And it looks like the editor's choice are trying to load up. And then you've got installed and updates. And it's loading updates, so I'm not going to concern myself with that. But it does have a nice little software center right there. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And then let's go back over. And I think we've looked at everything. Yes, we have. We got a tour, but I'm not going to take the tour. But I do want to see if we click on activities. Okay, so I can scroll. That's desktop one. That's desktop two. And I'm using my scroll wheel on my mouse. So you can change that from there. You've got calendar. We've already looked at. Let's open up the files. And there's your file system. I would probably myself change the color of the folders, but that's just me. That's a personal opinion. And you can make those bigger. You can make those smaller. You can sort from A to Z, Z to A, last modified. So it's just simple, clean, stays out of your way. Those are locked in place. You can't move those. It's still pretty decent looking. Let's go back to settings and I want to look at about. So we're using OS type Fedora Linux 35 workstation pre-release. 64-bit GNOME version 41.RC, which is release candidate. Windowing system is Wayland. Virtualization by Oracle. That was just a quick look at Fedora 35 Beta with GNOME 41. Tell me what you think about it. Is it a distribution you might give it a shot? Download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual box? Is it something you might consider as a daily driver? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go today, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description down below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.